A new company, E-North Brands, has come out with a new line of noodle containers called Signature Series. Genpak is feeling the buzz of LeBron's James Taco Tuesday. It's Taco Tuesday! It has an awesome Harvest Fiber lineup for all your taco needs. And the results from our survey that we posted a couple weeks back on Instagram. And here's the question. We asked, what are the top three reasons why you have not started to use Equal Friendly Solutions? Hey folks, I'm Elash P and this is Food Packaging TV, y'all. I said y'all. If your establishment serves ramen, pho, or straight up curry and rice, then you're in for a treat. The winter weather is pond de scene and that could mean less folks dining out and more people ordering in. And if that should be the case, then the Signature Series Food Containers by Enorth Brands has something awesome to offer you. Imagine bringing the experience of noodles served fresh at your customer's kitchen table. That's right, served hot, served fresh, intact, and no more complaints about soggy noodles. Ah, but wait a lesh. I've already resolved this. I, I sent out two separate containers, one with the soup and one with the noodles and, to and, and toppings separately. But wait, there's more. There's an awesome feature that these containers, that it reduces your overall packaging requirement. How's that you say? Let me show you. The Signature Series containers are a three piece offering and here's how it works. There is the base, the insert, and the lid. In this particular one, we see a base which has a 44 ounce full capacity, the insert which is 16 ounce, and the lid which gives you a resistant leak seal. Um, so what you would do, you'd put your soup or broth in the base of the soup, and keep in mind you're only filling up to 24 ounces since you have a 16 ounce insert to insert here. Um, by the way, it also has a bigger, uh, fatter brother that has a 50 ounce capacity. The insert is 19, so the split is 31, 19, and again, the lid to seal it off. And guess what you've done? You've done something magical. You've provided your customer with an experience as though they ordered your noodles at your establishment, but you've also made a sustainable move by reducing your packaging requirements and also not to mention, reduce the space that you require. Now, I know these, these containers aren't compostable, but the idea is to move one step in the right direction. And if that means reducing extra packaging, it's a win in my books. Genpak has doubled down on the Mexican food industry, but now, of course, you can use these packaging items for any other kind of meal, not just burritos and tacos, but they have launched not one, not two, not three, but six, that's right, six, new products, and they are compostable, except for any lids that I'll show you. So starting off with their burrito bowls, they come in two sizes, the 18 ounce, which measures 7.8 inch wide, that's this way, 5.25 deep, and a height of 1.6. The 26 ounce, which measures 9.25 wide, 6.6 .6 deep, and a height of 1.6. Add the lid to either of these containers. Now the height is at 2.6. That's another one inch height. They look great and they feel good and they're weighted firm, which is really important if you're an operator and are moving with swift speed. They both have stackable lid options to match and are made out of PET, which are 100% recyclable. Now, Harvest Fiber has said that these are excellent against water, oil, and grease. And if you'd like to test them out yourself, check on Genpak's link in the bio below. They have an awesome free sample program for you to evaluate and see how the containers perform in your operation. So moving from bowls to trays, we've got two interesting combo style trays over here. This one over here is the two compartment by two compartment tray. It features two big compartments for tacos and two smaller compartments here uh, for toppings. I mean, you could use it for anything else, like maybe salad, a skewer, and toppings. They have their own PET dome lid available. Personally, I like lids that seal off the compartment, so I know I won't have any cross-contamination, or what was once tacos are very nice dressed nachos in the, in the event the package drops. Now, fitting the same lid is this three compartment uh, for tacos or burritos or maybe a salad, cutlery, food combination. It's up to you. You know, it's yours to discover. See what I just did over there? Also made from bagasse pulp, these also seem to meet the challenge for your takeout needs with a footprint of eight by eight inches for the bases here and the, uh, the height is two inches. Now if you add the lid, it's an additional one inch, so it's three inches in height. So they are stackable and if you're using a bag with decent height, you can get about three of these sets to go out in one bag, which is not bad. 
Now lastly, let's talk about the flappers here, the big monster hinge containers. So hailing from the 2x2 compartment family with a width of 9.6, a depth of 8.75, and a height of 3.25, please welcome the composable large two compartment for something and two other compartments for something else. And on the other side, we've got the behemoth with a 10 inch base, a nine and a quarter inch width, and a three and a quarter inch total height. This guy will feed a family of four at least one taco, man. These are awesome. They are made from compostable materials and have been designed to extend the temperature retention. I'd like to see this report from Genpak on how they tested it, but hey, it's in their cell sheet. But <laughs> it's sturdy for sure. So check out the Harvest Fiber line in the bio, link below, and don't forget to request samples and evaluate their product. Harvest Fiber, responsible, renewable, reliable. That too is from their cell sheet. I kind of like it. Now for the survey question from Instagram, we posted a couple of weeks back. What are the top three reasons you have not started to use eco-friendly solutions? So here are the top three answers that we got that we thought was most applicable to everyone. Number one, company doesn't have a consistent policy on the use of these products. Number two, haven't found the appropriate replacement or can't find good quality. And number three, products are much more expensive. Okay, I get it. These are very genuine concerns, but if your company doesn't have a consistent policy, make it consistent, period, finito. Okay, now you can't find good quality replacement items? Give me a shout below and I'll find you a great solution to meet your requirements. Lastly, products that are more expensive. Now, this one I kind of get, but I don't. Once upon a time, it made sense to me. Like, look, my parents struggle as all new immigrants parents do and saving money was the only way to put food on the table, clothes on my back, and a roof over our heads. And I have full respect for what they have sacrificed and done for my sister and I. But that was then, and this is now. Anyone saying it's much more expensive, okay, first of all, hashtag, okay, boomer. I like to ask them, how much do you value a clean environment for your children? What's that worth to you? And if the gap is more than one quarter than what you're using now, find a new supplier else get with it and do for all the right do it for all the right reasons instead of right now and even the most renowned spiritual leaders of our time uh, his holiness ac bhaktivedanta swami prabhupada had once said first you become conscious then you become god conscious and if you want to lead the industry if you want to lead your children set a proper example that's all for this week's folks subscribe and like us below and stay tuned for the latest in food packaging. I'm Elash P and this has been Food Packaging TV.